This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Okay. So, uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is pricing procedure. Okay. So, the topics that we are going to cover here, you will see <clears throat> what is pricing procedure, introduction to SAP MM pricing procedure. You will understand what is pricing procedure, then schema determination. How the schema determination happens then we will see calculation schema okay schema group schema group then condition records how to maintain the condition records in the system then condition types what are condition types how they are maintained what is access sequence okay what is the role of access sequence in the pricing procedure and then uh, condition tables how to maintain the condition tables so these are the topics we will be covering in the pricing procedure Okay, so first we will understand uh, what is pricing procedure. Okay. Pricing procedure. Pricing procedure in MM module is a way to determine prices in purchasing documents. So whenever you create a purchase order, system will determine the uh, price. You need the gross price and you need the net price. All those things. So vendor will charge some amount to us so how to arrive at that prices how system automatically determine the prices so that is done through this pricing procedure okay a vendor's price for a metal is often made up of different components okay. so normally vendor uh, not only uh, charge the price for the metal also he will say i have some freight charges or he may he may give some discounts okay or there will be a tax so these kind of things also uh, uh, is taken into account. All these things are taken into account during the purchase order creation. Your vendor may offer to sell you a material at a certain price, but additional factors may affect like prices, discounts, surcharge, freight costs, taxes, etc. So on top of the basic price, there are some additional factors like these are the ones. So these are also into taken into account. Okay, the conditions are applied in order to arrive at the net and effective purchase prices in the purchase order. So using all these things, you will finally arrive at a price. Okay, this is controlled via a customized pricing procedure. So all these things are controlled via a, a object called pricing procedure. Okay, so let me show you this in the system first. Then we will continue with the further. Uh, Topics. Okay. What happened is the system down. Okay, so let me log into the system. Okay. So let's say I am creating a PO. So when you are creating a PO, okay, let me enter the vendor. Let me enter a material quantity and the plant okay so if you observe carefully if you observe carefully uh, in the item details if you see here there is a tab called conditions so here system is proposing the gross price 15 euro 
okay so all these conditions all these gross price tags all these are coming right all these are controlled through pricing procedure okay so now today we will understand how this gross price system proposing 15 euro how it is proposing that we will discuss okay so and other others also so that is basically proposed through pricing procedure okay this is controlled via a customized pricing procedure okay so how pricing procedure works okay so basically whenever uh, uh, you create a PO, suppose if you see here you create a purchase order you create a purchase order so purchase order for a combination of purchasing organization and a vendor okay so when you create this what happens is first did system will determine the calculation scheme schema okay it will determine the calculation scheme first step one okay now this calculation schema will contain the condition types it will have condition types like pb00 and others okay now second step is from the calculation schema system will determine the condition type and each condition type will have a access sequence attached to it okay now step three from that condition type it will go to access sequences and these access sequences will have the condition tables okay next step so from the condition table in the access sequence you have condition tables for, for that condition tables whether you have any condition record or not it will check for each condition table in the sequence if suppose let's say here in this case there is a condition table maintain condition record maintained with plant info record 50 then that 50 will get copied to the purchase order for that particular uh, 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 condition type okay that is gross price here so it will happen in a sequential manner sequential manner so let me let me explain this first let me show you the front end notepad. okay let me open the notepad file first one you create a purchase order so from the purchase order what happens first the system will determine the calculation scheme okay it will determine the calculation calculation scheme okay so in our case let's see that okay so here it is if you click on this analysis to see what, what is the calculation schema system determined click on this analysis see here you see this is the procedure and some people call it as a calculation schema or some people call it as a pricing procedure pricing procedure see. so what is a pricing procedure here pricing procedure it determined rm four zeros this is the one okay how it will determine i will explain shortly so pricing procedure determined is rm four zero okay now this pricing procedure this pricing procedure will contain the condi condition types okay so now we need to go to configuration okay here you see it is having all the condition types you see pb00 all those things so next this calculation schema will contain the condition types or you can call it as conditions okay in our example we will take pb00 pb00 gross price gross price okay i will explain again what is this condition types okay all those things will go in depth first first i'm just showing you how the pricing is determined okay now the conditions this is a condition right so if you open this one it will have access sequences access sequences so for this i'll just go to configuration Okay, so you need to go to configuration SPRO, CP reference IMG, scroll down, go to materials management, okay, go to purchasing, okay, here you have conditions, conditions, open this, okay, here, define price determination process, open this, here, define condition types, so if you open this, set price in condition types let me go this here what is the condition type we are talking about pb00 gross price 
so if you go to pb00 click on position go to pb00 okay if you select this go to details here you see there is an access sequence assigned okay so for the pricing procedure for the condition type there is an access sequence assigned okay i will again come to all these things in detail access sequence so what is access sequence assigned assigned triple zero two okay triple zero two okay now this access sequence will have the condition types 